Have you ever wondered about the behind-the-scenes lives of child actors? There's a certain glamour that we associate with the world of child stars, a shimmering veneer that often hides a much more troubling reality. An upcoming Investigation Discovery docuseries titled Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, peels back this glamorous facade, exposing the unsettling truths that many former child actors have had to grapple with. The docuseries delves into the long hours, the emotional manipulation, and the sometimes sexually charged environment that these young actors found themselves in. It uncovers the high price that was often paid for a shot at stardom, a price that was not always measured in dollars and cents, but in innocence lost and lives irrevocably altered. Among the stories brought to light in this series is that of former All That cast member Kyle Sullivan. In his early teens at the time of his involvement with the show, Kyle Sullivan offers a gripping account of his experiences. His candid revelations form an integral part of the narrative, shedding light on a particularly disturbing connection that existed between a dialogue coach, a child star, and a notorious serial killer. Sullivan's tale is not just a recounting of the past, it's a window into a world that few of us can comprehend. A world where childhoods are often cut short, and where innocence can become a casualty of ambition. His story, along with the stories of others featured in the series, paints a somber picture of the often unseen side of child stardom. So, as we prepare to delve deeper into this unsettling narrative, brace yourselves for an uncomfortable revelation. A revelation that involves an unsuspecting child star, a dialogue coach with a disturbing secret, and a connection to one of the most infamous serial killers of our time. This is not just a tale of fame and fortune, it's a chilling reminder of the darker side of the television industry. As we delve deeper, prepare for an uncomfortable revelation that links a dialogue coach, a child star, and a notorious serial killer. Imagine walking into a home only to be confronted with an eerie shrine. This was the reality for 14-year-old Kyle Sullivan, former cast member of All That, when he first set foot in the residence of Brian Peck, his dialogue coach. Peck's abode was a peculiar one to say the least. A strange homage to the Planet of the Apes franchise took center stage, an odd choice for a shrine you might think, but that was just the tip of the iceberg. Among the memorabilia of the famous sci-fi franchise, there was an anomaly, a painting that stood out like a sore thumb. It was a portrait of a clown holding balloons, a jarring contrast to the surrounding imagery. Sullivan, intrigued by the out-of-place artwork, questioned Peck about it. His curiosity was met with an unexpected burst of energy from the dialogue coach, a strange excitement that seemed to bubble up at the mere mention of the painting. Now, imagine being a young teenager, standing in the midst of this strange shrine, facing an overly enthusiastic adult, and an unsettling painting. A painting that, on the surface, seemingly had nothing to do with Planet of the Apes, or anything else in the room. A painting that, unbeknownst to Sullivan at the time, held a darker meaning. This wasn't just any clown, this was a depiction of the infamous killer clown, John Wayne Gacy, a man who had raped and murdered over 30 young men and boys in the 1970s. And this wasn't just any painting. It was a signed self-portrait, a chilling memento from a notorious serial killer. Sullivan's initial reaction was, understandably, one of shock, and perhaps a sense of unease. But he had no idea about the true story behind the painting or the depth of the darkness it represented. But it was not just the painting that was unsettling, it was the story behind it. As we delve deeper, we'll uncover the twisted connection between Brian Peck and John Wayne Gacy, and the disturbing world that Sullivan had unwittingly stepped into. What could possibly link a dialogue coach to one of America's most infamous serial killers, you might ask? Today we delve into a chilling connection that will leave you questioning the boundaries of reality. Kyle Sullivan, a former cast member of All That, recounts a surreal experience during a visit to Brian Peck's home. Amongst the peculiar memorabilia and a shrine to Planet of the Apes was a painting of a clown holding balloons, a seemingly innocuous piece of art that would soon reveal an unnerving secret. Sullivan, driven by curiosity, questioned Peck about the painting. Peck, in a surge of excitement, flipped the painting around, unveiling a signature that would send chills down anyone's spine. It read, To Brian, I hope you enjoy the painting. Best wishes, your friend. John Wayne Gacy. Yes, you heard it right. John Wayne Gacy, the man known as the Killer Clown, who was responsible for the rape and murder of over 30 young men and boys in the 70s. The man whose heinous crime sent shockwaves through America, was the artist behind the painting. The revelation was a haunting one. 
To think that a painting by such a monstrous figure was being flaunted openly, it was enough to make anyone's blood run cold. Sullivan was taken aback. He had unwittingly stumbled upon a connection between his dialogue coach and a notorious serial killer. The realization was a hard pill to swallow. It painted a grim picture of Peck, a man who was supposed to guide young actors, now seen in a different, much darker light. Sullivan's perception of Peck had irrevocably changed. He was no longer just a dialogue coach but a man with a disturbing fascination for a cold-blooded murderer. But the connection did not end there, it went deeper, into a darker realm. Tune in as we continue to unravel the layers of this unnerving connection in our next segment. Imagine discovering your acquaintance's pen pal is a convicted serial killer. Kyle Sullivan, a former cast member of the hit show All That, found himself in this very predicament. As he delved deeper into the unsettling world of Brian Peck, his former dialogue coach, he stumbled upon a chilling secret. Peck had been corresponding with none other than John Wayne Gacy, the infamous killer clown, who in the 1970s committed heinous acts of rape and murder against over 30 young men and boys. In the labyrinth of Peck's home, among his Planet of the Apes memorabilia, Sullivan found a collection of letters. These were not ordinary letters though. They were scribed by the hand of a man whose name still sends shivers down our spines. A man who used the guise of a clown to lure in his victims. The shock of this discovery was profound. Sullivan had known Peck as a mentor, a guide, someone who would help young actors navigate their lines. To find that this same man had been exchanging letters with a monster like Gacy was a jarring realization. The content of these letters remains unknown. Were they mundane exchanges or did they delve into the darker aspects of their lives? We can only speculate. But their very existence suggests a connection between Peck and Gacy that goes beyond casual correspondence. The horror of this discovery is not just in the fact that Peck was pen pals with Gacy. It's the idea that a man who was supposed to be a mentor and protector to young actors had such a dark secret. It's the realization that the person responsible for guiding these young talents was in contact with a man who had caused so much harm to young people. Peck's connection to Gacy is more than just a shocking revelation. It's a grim reminder of the hidden darkness that can lurk beneath the surface. It's a testament to the fact that monsters don't always hide in the shadows, sometimes they hide in the most unexpected places, like behind the scenes of a beloved children's TV show. This revelation paints a chilling picture of the man who once guided young actors on their lines. How does one cope with the knowledge that a person they once trusted was associated with such a monstrous figure? This is the question that Kyle Sullivan, former All That cast member, had to grapple with after uncovering Brian Peck's unsettling connection with the notorious killer clown John Wayne Gacy. Imagine the shock and betrayal that Sullivan must have felt. Here was a man, Brian Peck who he had worked closely with, who he had trusted, revealed to be pen pals with one of the most infamous serial killers in American history. The painting and the letters were more than just eerie mementos. They were a chilling reminder of the dark underbelly that often lurks beneath the glitz and glamour of the entertainment industry. But Sullivan, despite the shock and fear, found the courage to share his story. In doing so he not only exposed Peck's unsettling connection, but also shed light on the emotionally manipulative and sometimes sexually charged environment that many child actors are subjected to. It was a brave act, one that revealed the strength of his character and his commitment to ensuring that no other child actor would have to endure what he went through. The discovery had a profound impact on Sullivan's perspective about Peck and the industry as a whole. He saw firsthand the length some individuals would go to exploit and manipulate the vulnerable. It was a harsh lesson, but one that Sullivan used to fuel his determination to speak out and advocate for the rights of child actors. In the aftermath of his shocking discovery, Sullivan found a new purpose. He became a voice for those too afraid to speak, a beacon of hope for those lost in the dark corners of the industry. His story, though unsettling, has sparked a much-needed conversation about the safety and welfare of child actors. In a world that often glamorizes fame and fortune, Sullivan's story serves as a stark reminder of the hidden darkness. His courage and resilience serve as an inspiration for us all, reminding us that even in the face of adversity, one can rise above and affect meaningful change. Shedding light on the dark corners of the entertainment industry is a daunting task. The shocking revelations from former All That cast member Kyle Sullivan serve as a stark reminder of the layers of darkness that have been concealed for far too long. 
Sullivan's story is not just a tale of personal struggle and survival, but a beacon that illuminates the hidden corners, revealing the true nature of an industry that has been shielded by glitz and glamour. The forthcoming ID docuseries, Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, is a testament to the power of storytelling, unearthing the unsettling truths that many former child actors had to endure. It's a step towards transparency, a step towards justice and most importantly, a step towards change. The importance of this series cannot be overstated, it serves as a platform for voices like Sullivan's that have been muted for far too long, giving them the chance to echo across the globe, prompting a call for change. Sullivan's narrative is a chilling reminder that the monsters we often fear in fairy tales can be real, and sometimes, they can be hiding in plain sight. It's a stark wake-up call for the industry that has long been marred by such horrific incidents. But more than that, it's a rallying cry for all of us, urging us to listen, to understand, and to act. The entertainment industry is on the cusp of a revolution, a shift away from the shadows of manipulation and abuse towards a future of transparency and accountability. This change won't be swift or easy, but it's necessary, because no child, no person, should ever have to pay such a harrowing price for their dreams. As we anticipate the premiere of Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, we hope for a future where such horrors are a thing of the past. A future where the entertainment industry is a safe space for every dreamer, every artist, every child. A future where the only stories we tell are those of triumph, not trauma. To recap, let's revisit the key points of this chilling story. Our journey began with an unsettling discovery made by former All That cast member Kyle Sullivan. At the tender age of 14, he found himself in the home of dialogue coach Brian Peck, a place that revealed more than just a typical coaching session. Among the memorabilia and shrines to the Planet of the Apes franchise, there was a peculiar painting of a clown holding balloons. That painting, as Sullivan would come to learn, was a signed self-portrait by none other than the infamous serial killer, John Wayne Gacy. This was not merely a piece of art, it was a tangible link between Peck and Gacy, a man known as the Killer Clown who was responsible for the rape and murder of over 30 young men and boys in the 1970s. The painting was not just a trophy, but a symbol of a disturbing connection. Peck not only held this painting with pride, but he also had a collection of letters, a correspondence with the notorious killer himself. The impact of this revelation was profound. Sullivan's story shed light on the dark side of kids' TV, a world where some of the most vulnerable were subjected to long hours in an emotionally manipulative and sometimes sexually charged environment. It was a stark reminder of the shadows that can lurk behind the bright lights and laughter, and the price that these young stars often pay. This tale takes us beyond the surface, revealing a disturbing connection that stretched from the heart of Hollywood to a serial killer's prison cell. It's a stark reminder of the necessity of vigilance, of the importance of asking questions and seeking truth, even when it's uncomfortable. As we've seen, the answers can sometimes be found in the most unexpected and unsettling of places. The story also serves as a testament to the courage of those like Sullivan who dare to speak out, to expose the darkness and bring it into the light. His bravery in revealing this chilling connection serves as a beacon for others, a call to action. It's a reminder that silence can often be the greatest ally of injustice, and that truth, no matter how unsettling, must always be pursued. Finally, it's a sobering reminder of the importance of transparency in all aspects of our lives, from the entertainment industry to our personal relationships. It's a call to be vigilant, to be aware, and to always question what lies beneath the surface. As we conclude, remember the importance of vigilance, transparency, and the courage to expose the truth no matter how unsettling it may be.